Hey everyone, my name is Prototype. Welcome back to my channel. Hopefully a lot of new people are watching this since the channel has been growing a lot lately. And if you want to join in on that growth, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I would appreciate it very much. So recently I posted a video about the new cards that are coming to Clash Royale. And now I have the stats for them. Now these stats may not be official. These might get tweaked a little bit, but you can at least see what kind of troop each card is. Whether it's a tank, whether it's DPS, and what their attack preferences, the range, all that kind of stuff. You guys will be able to see that here. It might change, but this is pretty close to what the final result will be. So first off, we're going to be looking at the Ice Golem. This is one of the cards that most of you guys probably already know about. It is the other rare card in this leak. So as you can see, it only costs two elixir. Keep that in mind when looking at this and comparing it to the regular Golem. Now it only has 625 hit points and only 16 damage per second. That's really, really, really bad. Like I'll, I'll tell you right now, that's horrible. Um, his death damage is 23, so that's not too much better. His hit speed is 2.5 seconds he's going to punch the tower once which is pretty bad that's about the same speed as the regular golem so comparatively that's about the same it targets buildings like the regular golem its speed is slow and of course its range is melee it punches things the deploy time is only one second i'm pretty sure that's shorter than the regular golem so that's a plus side to it it is a lot cheaper so it makes sense that you deploy it faster and this card it probably has its own strengths. I would just have to test it out. I don't really know how you could play this card yet. So once it's added into the game, they might have different stats than this. It might have a different role. We'll just have to experiment it when it comes out. Next up, we have the Graveyard Spell. Now this spell is really, really strange. It's very unique. And this spell, you can place it anywhere like any other spell, but it makes a spawner and that's really really interesting to me you can place a spawner wherever you want now they are skeletons so they're really not going to do that much damage but it is going to be really frustrating for the other person to continually watch depending on how you work it in with your deck so the spawn speed is 0.5 seconds you're going to spawn a skeleton out of there it lasts for 10 seconds and the spawn radius is five i don't know if this spawns one at a time i would assume that it only spawns one at a time because otherwise it would be quite overpowered spawning like four skeletons every half a second that'd be really overpowered so spawning one every 0.5 seconds makes the most sense to me that's what you guys can expect from this spell it's very very unique something that's really cool and definitely deserves its legendary ranking now i could go on to talk about the mega minion but i really don't need to because you guys have already even seen gameplay of that so i won't cover that i'm going to talk about the last legendary in this leak that is the inferno dragon that is the name for it that's the way it shows up in clash royale itself now this one costs four elixir it's pretty good i would say um, it costs the same as a regular dragon. Its hit points are 950 and the damage per second ranges from 75 to 875. And the reason for that is it attacks like an inferno tower. So you guys know at the beginning of the attack, it does less damage and then continually it gradually does more and more and more damage until it finally reaches that 875 per second which is really 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 good guys this is better than the inferno tower because it won't get targeted by your giants it won't get targeted by those royal giants and this thing can attack the other person's tower that's what really makes this good if you could find a way to get it all the way to the tower without it getting distracted by something else, this will be your free win. This might be better than Sparky, I don't know, but it's definitely about the same level. So the speed is medium, I believe that's the same as the regular dragon. Targets air and ground, range is 4, and the deploy time is 1 second. Very comparable to the regular dragon, extremely similar. I think that the only difference is the attack style. The damage is through the roof, so if you guys get this guy, you're extremely lucky. I can't wait to see real gameplay of this guy. So that's it for this video. Let me know which one of these you guys are most excited for. For most of you, I bet it's going to be the Inferno Dragon because, you know, it's just awesome anyways. So yeah, guys, if you enjoyed, leave a like and be sure to subscribe. I'm trying to put out some more videos. Hopefully we'll have some gameplay of these up soon. Once it comes out, I will be happy to show you guys what these do. That's the video. I'll see you all later.